Thanks for joining us today on Playing the Field Local Edition. I'm Maria Sorreo. Today we are here at Palos Verdes High School where you will meet the 2024 Lady Sea Kings softball team. You are not new to the school coach, but you are the new head coach here for softball. What has this experience been like for you this year? I think it's been awesome. Um, it's been a pretty slow transition coming into being in the head coaching position. Um, this is my fifth year on staff, so my first year as head coach, and I think it's been an easy transition. I think the girls have really transitioned really well with it, and we're ready to play, so it's good. What made you want to coach softball? Did you play softball? I did. Um, I played college softball, and in college I started coaching a little bit. Um, and I just loved it and then I got my teaching credential and it just kind of goes hand in hand and I, I love it. What do you think you learned most from the coach previous to you, Pat Fresh? He showed me how to manage a team. Coaching, I always say coaching is the easy part. It's the management outside of the actual field stuff that's hard. And he really taught me how to do all of the management stuff outside of the coaching aspect. What is the biggest challenge when it comes to managing a group of girls? <laughs> Teenage, yeah, teenage girls. Um, honestly, I think the hardest part is time management and making sure that they have time to do their studies and that they are getting enough sleep and doing all the softball things. So I think time management is the hardest part, making sure they have time for everything. Tell me why you chose softball as your sport and how long you've been playing. Um, I think this is my maybe 11th year playing. Um, I originally started because my sister, she's also on the team, her name's Maven. She started playing um, when she was like six. And then my dad, I, I like cycled through a bunch of sports um, and I didn't want to play any of them. <laughs> and my dad was like, oh, like try softball. And I was like, no, that, that doesn't sound good to me. And then he signed me up behind my back. So then I had to play season and then I just stuck with it. <laughs> and now I'm here. What sports did you try? I tried so many. I tried basketball, soccer. I was bad at all of them. I, I did I did dance. <laughs> I did everything, anything you could think of. What do you think it was about softball that made you stick with it? Um, I think it was a lot about the family connection. Like my, my dad was really involved in the league and I obviously could practice with my sister. She played up a lot of years, so she played with me. Um, and we would go out to the field a lot, like just, just the three of us, and it was really good like bonding. Um, yeah, and yeah. So here you are. Yeah. <laughs> um, I started when I was six, so about 10 years ago, and my dad was just really invested. I also cycled through a lot of sports, tennis, golf. Um, my sisters played golf, so I was already kind of preconditioned to play golf, but um, I really stuck with softball. I really loved the environment and the camaraderie, um, and I just loved making new friends and new connections outside of school. What's the difference about high school softball versus when you played when you were a little younger? Um, I think it's it's honestly really similar. Like it's a lot of the same girls because we obviously grow up in the same in the same like town. Um, so I think the difference is it's more competitive for sure. Like we're we're trying to win. We're trying to, um, you know. Uh, be good for our school, right? So yeah, I think that's that's the main difference. Um, I think the main difference is also we we are with a bunch of girls who we've grown up with our whole lives playing the sport. Um, but also when we're playing different teams like Penn or Costa, I also know some of the girls um, as I've played travel ball with them, and it's really just fun to kind of come together for high school um, and all play each other. That was my next question too: is travel ball? If you guys also participate in that, I know the commitment is crazy busy mm -hmm. yeah so it's a lot um, it's kind of nice during the uh, high school season you get a little break from travel um, and you get to be surrounded with different girls um, and it's a lot less demanding so it's it's a lot of fun being being in high school yeah. versus travel. yeah like she said um, it's very uh, it's a commitment um, but it's also not as demanding you don't have to do stuff a ton of stuff on the weekends um, but I, I really have fun when I'm playing what positions do you play? Uh, I play outfield. Okay. I play outfield as well. You do? Okay, so what are, when you're out in the outfield, what is the biggest challenge out there for people that don't know how far away you actually are from home plate? Yeah, um, for me, personally, it's just 
vision. I'm not the best. I have uh, at seeing the ball, but um, I think nobody is. It's yeah. far. <laughs> but um, Coach Ashley and Coach Frank, who is our other coach, um, they really just helped me in the outfield and kind of develop my skills. I also play outfield on my travel team, so that has, has kind of uh, played. Yeah, I think it's um, probably getting reps because. When, you, when you're in the outfield, right, getting reps is hard when you don't have a real field because it's so far. Um, and so getting good practice, getting good drills, um, it's definitely hard to find those. So, um, yeah, I'd say that's the most difficult thing about playing outfield. So do you guys have like a pregame ritual you do or just to get yourself psyched up for the games? Uh, we usually just blast music, uh, whether it be in the bathroom getting ready or, uh, or even in the dugout. We just kind of like to get ourselves motivated and hyped up for the game. Yeah, we always yeah, we always have team lunches together on home games, so we get a little bit more time to just chat and have a good time. How long have you been playing softball and why you chose it for your sport and maybe what position you play now? Um, okay, so I've been playing softball since I was eight, eight years old, and basically my dad missed the, the sign-ups for basketball, and so it was kind of my second choice, but I played like Little League when I was younger, like baseball, and so yeah, and I play first base. Do you um, play other sports as well? Yes, I play basketball and flag football currently. Okay, and then how about for you? Um, I've been playing for 10 years, and basically like when I was little, like I just tried like all the sports, and none of them really stuck, except for softball, and my dad like knows a lot about it, so it was just really easy for me to learn, and I really had a passion for it. It's, it's interesting, because both of you guys said that, you know, like your dads were involved in this, so do they sort of coach you up at home too, or how does that work? Yeah, our dads actually coach together yeah. for a really long time, <laughs> and so yeah, like yeah. when we're at home, like we hear about softball all the time, like it's kind of the main discussion point in our in my household at least. For sure. Yeah, that's same way, exactly. I think they're really alike in a lot of ways, <laughs> yeah, too. <exactly. laughs> and you have a new coach this year. What's that been like, sort of making that transition? Um, It's been good. Yeah, she used to be our assistant coach, and now she's the head. So, like, it's good that we already kind of got to know her beforehand, and I think she's doing a really good job. Yeah, I feel like it was helpful that, like, we already knew her, obviously, and that there's also a lot of, like, new freshmen, and so they didn't have any, like, old coach. They didn't have an old coach, so it's, like, the same for them either way. <laughs> And you guys are doing really well this year. What do you think it is or what is different about this year's team that is sort of helping you guys to be more successful? Um, I feel like our team chemistry is a lot better this year. Like we hang out after games, like we do fun stuff together. And I think everyone just kind of gets along really well. Yeah, we also have like a lot of new freshman talent, which is really helping. That's awesome. Do you guys play travel ball as well? Yes, I do. Yeah, me too. Okay, so, oh, okay, it just fascinates me because it's so time consuming. How do you guys fit in school with travel ball, with high school, with everything, with friends? Um, well, it's kind of a lot. It's a lot <laughs> at times, but um, I feel like um, just like having a schedule and like, like kind of planning out your days is what kind of gets me through everything. Yeah, I think that since like our travel season and like our teams go dark, so we don't have a lot of travel stuff going on. Like my travel stuff is all on the weekend, so I don't have to worry about like spacing them out or like yeah. having them on the same days. What's the biggest difference between playing in high school for your school and playing travel ball? Um, I feel like high school, it's kind of like a time like where you just play with everyone that you've played with for like a really long time, like ever since you were little and travel, like it can be more competitive at times, but it kind of just like depends. Um, yeah, I think that for like my situation, like I think travel is a little more competitive, but like it's the same game, so it, it's not a big difference. <laughs> I've been playing like for five years, but off and on. I chose it. I, I played a lot of sports when I was little, but this, this one like stuck with me more for long. What do you think it was about softball that stuck with you? Um, the, like the community, because mo most of them I play basketball and like it's co-ed, but like the softball, like it's just all girls and like it, it's easier to connect with people. Um, I've been playing nine years now, I think. Um, did you ever try any other sports? Or? Oh, I've played like almost every sport there is. <laughs> I've, I really don't. I guess it's just the one that I always came back to, had the most friends in it. It's just, I guess I was always kind of good at it. Just, just kind of stuck with me. All right. What positions are you guys playing right now? I play left field. I'm catcher. Have you always played one position or have you played all around? No, I play third and second, but I like, I like like left field the most. And catcher is very specific. Have you always been a catcher? Not always. I mean, I've always liked doing it, but I was a pitcher for many years and I've pretty much played every position there is. So. Do you guys prefer one over the other or? No, they're, they're all like, they're all yeah. They're all... I like catching. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. And um, what's this been? This experience been like this season with this team? They're very like connect. Like it's really like a family. This one. Yeah. Than all the teams I played with. I've actually learned a lot. I mean, many stuff I didn't know before. I've learned here. Everyone's so nice. It's just it's so it's fun. Have like a pre-game ritual you do before games, just to kind of get yourself ready to go. I usually just listen to music and get in like the zone and everything. Yeah. For me, the better the hair, the better I play. <laughs> so I, I do my hair up all. I do my hair up. It takes me a while, but I've learned the worse the hair has been for me, the worse I played. So the better the hair, the better the game. I love that. I love that answer. I can honestly say that's the way it goes for the day too. You know, when your hair comes out good, you're ready to go. Okay, and um, how do you sort of balance the school time with the softball time? Um, I kind of do like um, like 50-50, but, so, but they're usually like, they're good, like easy to hair manage. Well. Okay. Yeah. I mean, really, it's easy. There's nothing really too complicated. I don't have much homework, so it's pretty easy to manage. I've been playing for 10 years now and I just like instantly kind of fell in love with it and I liked like the competitiveness of it. Did you ever try any other sport? Yeah, I played soccer, volleyball, basketball, like a lot of the sports and I like softball the best. Okay. What was it about softball that made you stick with that? I think I just kind of liked like the environment that everyone kind of brought and like all the girls and like how it's like competitive and you're never like just standing there doing something. You're always busy. Yeah. Yes. I've been playing for about eight or nine years, I think, and I also, I fell in love with it. My mom played, so she like helped me, and my dad played baseball, so it's just kind of like one in the family, and yeah. Did you try any other sports? Or? No, I didn't. I played softball my whole life, yeah. Yeah. Both of you girls are pitchers, which is very specific. Now, have you played different places on the field, or did you always pitch? Um, I used to play second base and recently, about like six months ago, I gave it up because I figured college I'm only going to probably pitch, so I wanted to just focus on pitching. I played outfield too. I still play outfield. Outfield and pitcher, yeah. It's interesting because pitching is so specific and it seems like as you sort of grow in softball, once you learn how to pitch, they want you to continue pitching. So what is the biggest challenge that both of you find pitching? Um, I would definitely say like, if you're struggling at it, like commanding the zone, trying to find your spot. And like, it's a lot of mental, so you have to get your mental part of it right. And then once you do that, the physical part is easier to find. Yeah, same thing. Just like when you're in a groove and then it you fall out, it's kind of hard to get back. Sometimes the umpires, you don't get calls you want, but you just have to work through it and like just adjust. Yeah. How difficult is it to learn the motion of pitching? Um, I would say it wasn't difficult like that, but like the mechanics and stuff, it definitely takes a lot of time and effort and a lot of commitment. And you have to like work at it every single day to get better at it. Yeah, same. The motion wasn't that hard. It's like the spin, more speed, and like, yeah, just like the location, like just like working with the batters, like trying to, you know, yeah. And then, um, how much time do you work with the catchers, obviously, to sort of get ready for games? I like to throw every day with a catcher. Um, if not, my dad catches me, but I think it's good for your catchers to know you and like, because everyone has a different type of spin and stuff, so once your catchers know you, it's a lot easier when in games. Yeah, same thing. Um, kind of throw. I throw here more because we're basically here every day. So I throw here, and then I throw at home too. I have a pitching lesson with the pitching coach outside of it too. So. Do you both play travel ball as well? Yeah, I've been playing travel for like four years now, I think. Yeah. What's the biggest difference between high school and travel ball? Um, I would say travel ball is. Like more, this is competitive, but I'd say travel ball is more competitive. You have like people watching you, and it's a little more stricter, but you still have fun. You have fun both places. Okay, and then how do you sort of balance the school time with the softball time? Um, so that's definitely one of the biggest challenges. I 
Right now, I'm in season, so it's obviously harder, but during travel ball, I don't have anything during the week. It's besides my alone time that I put in, so I do school first and then softball. So I have to manage my grades, and then I come time for softball. Yeah, same thing. School comes first. Here we have we have it like every day, and I still we still kind of have travel ball too, or like separate lessons. So we just try to like get the work done first, and then go to travel ball, and just like I don't know, just balance. Yeah. Um, I've been playing softball for 10 or 11 years now, and my dad played college baseball. My siblings, my sisters played softball. My mom played softball. Yeah, just in the family. Did you ever try any other sports or was just this the one you wanted? Yeah, I was a gymnast and, well, I was a competitive gymnast for a few years and then I moved out to Palos Verdes so then I kind of like transferred to softball and volleyball. Okay. Um, I started, I played baseball until I was in fourth grade and then I started softball in seventh grade and my uncle played and coached um, college baseball. He coached college baseball for like over 50 years. So it's just, it's just running the family and I fell in love with it. Do you ever play any other sports or is this, this is it? Um, I played uh, competitively soccer. I still play um, soccer and uh, yeah, that's kind of it. For both of you to play other sports, how does it sort of help you out on this field? You, you as a gymnast, you as a soccer player. I would say the dedication with both sports, just like your mindset will get you through a lot. Like I feel like softball is like, you base everything about how you feel, how you hit, like if you had a bad hitting day, like then you're like, oh, like I suck at this. Like, so I feel like it's just like, you have to have a positive mindset through it all. Um, I think for soccer, like the team, the team aspect of it and playing with a ton of other teammates and just like getting to know your teammates and yeah, like the competitive aspect. And have you guys also played like all over the field or is there one position that you like more than another one? Um, I played, when I was younger, I was a catcher and then I played third base. And then when I started playing in high school, I was outfield only until sophomore year. And do you prefer that? Um, I no longer play in the field, um, but I loved doing outfield, but I love hitting even more. Okay. Um, I played first, third, and kind of like everywhere else besides pitcher. Um, uh, my favorite's just been third. I feel like it's, I don't know, I just feel like you have so much, like such a role on the team and like, yeah. And just both of you are so committed to doing sports. How do you sort of balance the school time with the sports time? Um, I would say just really knowing what you have to do that day and like don't overwork yourself, balance everything. Just yeah, try to keep your balance. And um, like with the knowing like what to do every day, like the block schedule at our school helps like a lot with that. So like that's one of like the main reasons I've come to PB, the block schedule, because it just it helps out so much as an athlete and a student, and just like knowing what you have to do. You have a new coach this year, and you guys are all doing very well. How's that going? Um, yeah, I've had Coach Ash since freshman year. And she's like a sister to me. She's always been fun. Yeah, I I haven't known anything different for this school, so <laughs> um, it's awesome. Yeah, she's very fun and <laughs> very supportive. I've been playing softball since I was in fourth grade, so for a while. And I chose it because my dad really wanted me to play baseball. And I played baseball for a little bit, but I wanted to switch over because all my friends were playing softball, and I just fell in love with it. I mean, is it harder to play softball than baseball, or? I think it is. <laughs> yeah, I think it's hard. Um, I started playing when I was like five, and I chose it because, I don't know, I kind of just like, my, my parents like put me in a bunch of sports, and I just like chose softball. What was it like to play other sports, and why do you think you stuck with this one? Um, the other sports are fun, but like, I feel like I was just better at softball. Um, I didn't play many sports. I played soccer and I did a little bit of gymnastics, but only till I was like eight. Um, I think softball really stuck with me because I liked the like the team aspect. I liked being in the dugout with all my friends. I liked being on the field with all my friends, and I just I just loved it. You were a catcher, which is very specific. Did you ever play any other position? I did. I used to play first base a little bit, and I played shortstop for just like a year. Okay. <laughs> um, but I think catcher really stuck with me because I liked being involved with all the plays and I liked being able to talk and be loud with my team. Okay.
How about for you, which position are you playing? I play second base. Okay. Have you always played second or have you moved around? I moved around. And do you like that? I mean, do you like sort of you know, getting a feel for everywhere on the field? Or? Yeah, I, I like it better, but like as like the competition gets better and like just as you get older, like you're usually at one position. Yeah. Or like you'll have like your secondary, which is like, like if you're like in the infield, it's usually like infield and then you play like somewhere in the outfield. Um, how has it been sort of, you know, like balancing school time with softball time? It's been pretty easy because of block schedule, because on our B days we have two hours of softball, but it's during the day, so we get to leave at the same time as everyone else. And because of block schedule, we also don't get a bunch of homework, because we only have three classes a day, so it's only three classes of homework. So um, it hasn't been super hard. It's been fairly easy. Yeah, it's, it's pretty easy. It's just like the only thing would be like missing like your third period and we would have to like leave early. But like, I kind of like it, like it's fine. And do you guys also play in travel teams or just playing at the high school? Me too. You know, it's so interesting to me. What is the biggest difference playing for a high school team versus playing for a travel team? Um, the biggest difference is that like, I think the for me, the level of competition is different because I'm in 14U, but I'm playing against people who are like 18 years old and like 17, 18, even like 16, which I guess is only two years older than me. But it's just like different because I'm playing against like older people who have a lot more experience. Yeah, I, I think like the competition is like the main difference. Like I feel like travel is like way more like, you know, like more like, what is that called? Yeah, it's yeah, like it's yeah. more intense, and the pitching's definitely like harder to hit, and it's just it's just different with like like high school because you're just like coming from everywhere, you know. You're not like yeah. This is my first year, and I liked um, playing it because I played it in the summer for like one year. Yes. Did you ever play any travel ball or, or what did you play before this? I've played for the Dodger Dream Team. Okay and we've done a little bit of traveling to different parks. But, so that was kind of like my warm up starting. Awesome. Yes. What position are you playing now? I'm playing second base. What has been the biggest challenge learning that position? The speed and how fast you have to be to be in that position. This is so interesting. You're probably, you're the newest person to softball. What has it been like getting to know the girls? Uh, it's exciting. They're super nice. And uh, the first year was kind of nerve wracking because I'm like, uh, I only know like a couple, like two or one girls. So I'm like, oh no, I'm, I'm gonna like not fit in and stuff, but I really fit in. Yeah. And what has it been like learning to hit? For hitting, it's good, but I need to get into the hang of it of like, what, how can I describe it? The speed of it and how to be very focused and believe in yourself and say, I could do this, I'm gonna hit the ball. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Do you have any, any kind of things that you say to yourself before games? I say, that I'm gonna hit the ball, and if I don't, that's all right, because I got more tries. Yeah. Yes. I've been playing for about six years, and I chose softball because I tried a lot of other sports, and softball was the only one that really stuck. Um, I kept playing it during COVID on a team, and then we eventually went to win the state championship. It's so interesting to me because most of the girls have said the same thing. They tried other sports, but this is the one that stuck. Why do you think this is the one that sticks for people that really love it? For me, it was like a lot about the team. Like the, we all like kind of just like became really good friends and like, and also I think the other sports. I mean, I just didn't really enjoy them as much. Something. <laughs> yeah. Too. How about for you? For me, I've been playing softball for like 10, 11 years now, and the reason I think I chose it is because like I tried other sports like soccer and like I didn't really like running around too much. I kind of just like standing on the field. Another thing I like about it is that you kind of have like your own space, you have like your own position, and you also have your own at bat. So you still have like that individual like aspect of it, but you're still like on a team, so you still get like get like that social aspect of it too, which yeah, I really absolutely. like. When, what positions are you playing now, and have you tried like all of the positions? And like, what's the difference in it? Like, how do you settle into one that you're really good at? Do you think? 
Well, for me, I like second because it's close to first base, so it's a shorter throw. Um, I also like it because you get to play back a bit. I don't really like playing corners where like you have to play in front and like you get hit balls really hard at you. It's kind of scary. I also try playing outfield. Um, I like it. I like that in a sense. I feel like it's, it's, the plays are a lot simpler. You just have to like get it in. But another thing I don't like is that you have to have a really strong arm, which is something I struggle with. And also, I don't like how you're like the last line of defense. So like there's like no one to back you up. Out there too. <laughs> yeah. Um, for me, I was pitching for a long time, and I really liked the like pressure and like having all like the glory, I guess. But now, I, um, outfielding, it's a lot. It's a lot less pressure and work, so I have more time to like focus on my studies and um, and I think that like now I've like gravitated away from pitcher except for JV because outfield, I I do like just like being out there, having your own space on the position without everyone like having their eyes on you. How do you gauge the ball when you're out in the outfield? When you stand out there, people do not know how far it is from home plate. Um, it really just takes a lot of practice, and like it's something that's always improving. Like it's just like about like just like seeing a lot of balls and like their trajectory off the bat, and just like each time you like miss a ball or even if you catch it, you like. Um, your brain just like remembers that and keeps learning. Are you focused on travel teams? Yes, I am. Yeah. You know what, You're, you guys are so committed to this, whether it's travel team or high school. What's been the biggest difference between playing for a high school and playing on the travel team? Um, high school, I think it's different because like you're all the same school and together and um, just like I feel like school just has also more of an impact in, um, in high school versus travel like travel a lot of times like the tournaments and like the games and stuff don't really they don't really take into account like the fact that you have school <laughs> yeah travel sometimes so they're just like we don't care just come out here <laughs> and of course I had to ask the girls is it angels Dodgers or somebody else angels or Dodgers 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 <laughs> Any favorite players? Uh, Mookie Betts. Otani. <laughs> Dodgers or Angels? Dodgers. Dodgers. <laughs> no, let, me, let me guess who your favorite player might be. <laughs> uh, my favorite player? I'm going to say Shohei Otani. <laughs> yeah. 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 Going to have to go with Shohei. Um, Angels or Dodgers? Dodgers. Dodgers. Do we have any favorite player? I like Hart Kershaw. Okay. Not really. <laughs> um, I'm an Angels fan, but I get a lot of hate for it. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm both, but I don't know I'm both. Okay. Um, I'm an Angels fan because my dad's an Angels fan. But, okay. Yeah. Like <laughs> Hardcore Dodgers fan. Okay. Angels or Dodgers or somebody else? I'm a Dodgers fan. <laughs> Me too. Dodgers for sure. Have any like favorite players? Or? I would say Will Smith is definitely my favorite um, because he's a catcher yeah. and I like look up to him he's a lot. A very good catcher. He is very good. Yeah. <laughs> I like Kike Hernandez. <laughs> Ooh, that. Who? The Dodgers. Yeah. Angels or Dodgers or somebody else? Dodgers. Definitely Dodgers. Do you guys have any favorite players on the team? Kershaw. Okay. Really? Otani. Yeah. Dodgers. Always Dodgers. <laughs> Bleed blue. <laughs> And that will do it for today's show. Remember, you can always watch Playing the Field Local Edition at playingthefieldtv.com. I'm Maria Sorreo, and we'll see you next time.